We talk about this and talk about that. Shut up, stop running out, let's talk about facts. Live a little, laugh a lot, let's have some fun. Listen to Gina, she'll tell you how it's done. Did you know? Good to know. What did you know? Well, now you know. Never know what's gonna happen on the No Filter Show. Loud and proud, funny and cool. Say what you're thinking, that's her only rule. Be the change. Be the change. Come watch the No Filter Show. No Filter is brought to you by Oasis Shopping Bahamas, online shopping made easy. Welcome to No Filter Show with me, Gina Knowles. And today on the show, we're going to have Soya Boy finding out the personal side, the real side of him and how he came about and what made him into this big Facebook YouTuber video master, as well as uh, Ashley Saunders, who is our head Knowles admin. It's going to be great. Stay tuned. See you soon. No Filter is brought to you by Oasis Shopping Bahamas, Bank of the Bahamas, Quality Home Center, Dairy Queen, Florida Natural, Boss, BAF Financial and Insurance, Checkers Cafe, Doctors Hospital, Marathon Vet Clinic, Mesa Grill, Live to Fish, Lowe's Pharmacy, Riley Boys Auto and Car Rental, Ultra Games, and the pediatric place. Hey, hey, boo, what's up? Right, yeah. yeah. You still going to the event? Yeah, I ordered my dress right now. Let me call you back. Okay, good. Me too. Hey, boo, what's up? Hey, what's up? Phone is good. Internet is good. TV is good. But why just pick one thing when you can have everything with Tria? Only $99 a month gets you phone, internet, and cable. That's everything you need for $99 a month. Ask for Tria. Call 601 2200 or email residential sales at cablebahamas.com. Rev, you and us together. This is how it feels to consolidate your debt with Bank of the Bahamas. And this is how it feels to reduce your monthly payments. Come discover the new BOB, offering debt consolidation loans at the lowest rate in town. And guess what? You can get cash in addition to cleaning up your finances. That's how it feels. Apply today for your BOB debt consolidation loan. Terms and conditions apply. This segment is brought to you by Bank of the Bahamas, the Bank of Solutions. Hi, everybody. We're back here with No Filter, and I have my special guest of the day, the one and only Soya Boy. All day, all day. All my day. boy. I don't know if we, we could call him a fellow Long Islander, but he loved to get on Long Islanders. Are you really from Long Island or uh, what? My mom, my whole, my, my whole, my side, Makati is from Long Island. It's me. My whole, my I just saw you, Makati. Okay, and where the next side from? Uh, Harbor Island. The story is from Harbor Island. Okay. My daddy is Harbor Island, Lujo. Mommy is Long Island. I know you just like the soccer pose. Sheep! 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 Uh, first of all, I want to congratulate you because I think that what you have done in the past only, what, three years, you've totally exploded. Yeah, things have changed a lot. Yes. In the past, yeah, especially three years because I started this in 2013. And what made you start this? Uh, but yeah, uh, all right, so 2012, my grandma to pass away. And you know, you have the little repass afterwards of me and all my cousins. We just was chilling under the tree on Arkansas. And we just was talking. I said, do well then. And I just had my business cards and then, you know, I go on all out. But I said, work in the bank too. So my welding business card had a picture of me, my suit and tie and thing on it. Dead cute on the on the, on the, on the, on the things, just to say it. Put it out uh -huh. there. So I had it out. I was on one job putting up some gigs. 
and I tell them the story when I get my first call, like someone saw the card and they called me, but the boy was calling me and telling me how cute I was on the on the card instead of asking me about the welding that right, right, why right. How good are you? And I was giving that story and I guess was I was giving that story. They was killing themselves laughing. One of my cousins he's like, Boy, you need to start recording yourself and put this out for the world to see but like we know yeah, yeah, you know good. But other people need to do that. And you just funny. The next year I, I get my hand on one camera, my ex girlfriend mommy camera. And I did my first video. Yeah, so this guy, I got no money, I got no money, I had to borrow one little square camera. My quality is garbage. Like, what about the phone? Phone was phones, ah, oh, this is 2013. <laughs> you know, quality was on no phones and things like that. <laughs> no, you, you needed it. No, it wasn't like that. You, you had to have one camera back then. So you did this um, episode after I went and found the plane, and you did the call, Gina. And I thought mm -hmm. that was really funny. It was, and that, that all my family was like, tell them, no, we haven't anybody called Gina mm -hmm. because I don't want no backlog when I, I have to call you. I think that's before the plane. It was, um, no, was it was it was right after the plane, I think. Come on, that was before the plane. And we got a backlog. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, but but I have some other things that I called Gina on. Right. Shoot me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I don't know if any of you noticed that he's actually in the intro of the show. So if you haven't noticed it, don't pass forward past my intro. You know, that yeah. was a lot of Watch work. Watch it, yeah, we. And you would see where. He's calling Gina on the beach, and I run up, and it's really cool. So I'd like to thank you for that. That was, You're that welcome. was really fun. You're welcome. Yes, and, it was. Um, so then we keep bumping each other to all these awards. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. you, you've been crawling up quickly. And as everybody can tell, we have our awards here. Yeah. He was uh, Entertainer of the Year for the 2019, yeah. 2019. And I was People's Choice Award winner. And uh, he, he had to tell me that he also, he did not bring his icon and his other, many others. And I said, if you yeah. had bring yours, then I had to bring mine. So then we was going back to second grade. Yeah, I guess I get, I get spelling bee competition trophies from grade four, five, and six. I don't have spelling because I, I I'm not very mm -hmm. good at spelling at all. Then the Aquinas, just no one, seventh grade was just me. Oh, I ran everything. superstar. Everything was me. So when you were in school, were you the class clown? No, you not didn't? at all. Not at all. Only biology. Biology, because that's the only class I didn't know what's going on. And you know, when you're writing on the board, they just already write three boards. And times they get back to the fourth board, they get to rub off whatever on the first board. I said, still be on the first board. So soon she rubbed that out. I might just stop writing. <laughs> I just stop writing. <laughs> and that's when Fresh Prince and thing was out. <laughs> Fresh Prince and thing was out. That's when we started to watch it when it come out. Right. And that's when it cost me. She to write a word on the board. And I'm like, bah. Then that's when she like, Sit next to me, so my desk was next to her desk. I remember those That's days. New ball. <laughs> so did you ever have? So did, did she ever say, "Stop, stop fooling around, stop acting funny, stop joking"? Yeah, joking. that's why I said next to her. Oh, so you know what I want you to do? I want yeah. you to take this opportunity to look inside the camera mm -hmm. and say, "Miss New Ball, who's mm -hmm. laughing now?" Miss New Ball, I still got you laughing though. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I getting a little bit, but I, I let it smart. That's Max was good. I was like, getting Max. Max is that right? Oh. But no, but like I get people in school I've been to school with. Like they still look at me like, but you never even used to talk like that in school. So, yeah, like like I said, my friends and my close friends and family knew me on that level. But like everyone else, like I still to that point where I shy until it's time for me to do what I gotta do. So, do you think that comedy is your passion? Comedy is my everything right now. Well, not just comedy, but the whole entertainment part of it. But comedy and acting and all that, I didn't know until it start. I started doing it, and. Because when I, I I thought I was gonna be a well that one point. This when I was to the point. Because you were shy at the beginning, and I remember when people in this was talking about you hosting events and all that. And you was like, oh hey, no. ain't nothing happening. No way. I was one of them said like even when school, when it come to assembly, like don't give me no lines because I ain't gonna talk in front of these people. So that's how it was. But I I turned on when I started doing my videos. Every people started to call, and I turned on like four back to back to back. Until the fifth one hit me when I when they called me, that's when my the, my something inside me say, don't forget your rent behind. And uh, I was like, yeah, I can need to do this. <laughs> so that's when I was like, but I, I can Yeah. So when I when I thought about it, it's like, but you I kind of turned on a lot of money just by saying no. So I was like, let me just go out there and do it. And I ain't stopped yet. I've been doing that hosting and going on stage, and I doing stand up comedy now and. I got really, really taken off. Do you feel like, um, as a comedian, you're respected and in this country, and one day you could just have a full-time career of just being a comedian? Yes. You do. Yes. Great. I, so I have, I have it now. So you right now, your only job is doing what you're doing. Doing what I'm doing. Awesome. Everything that I'm doing right now is has something to do with the whole Sawyer Boy thing. And what, this what all came happened from in three years. 
I wouldn't say three years. Like I said, I did my first video, Mother's Day 2013. That's when my first video come out. You'll have to go Next back year. there. Okay. Yeah, so this Mother's Day will make six years I've been doing it. But everything started to kick off in 2015. Like when mm -hmm. I started doing the Bohemian, when I started doing the Bohemian Word of the Day is when a whole lot of other people started to catch on. And that's when I won the yes. Icon Award. And then everything just yeah, the Bohemian took word off from that. Yeah. So I, I was working now. I got no time to do no water videos, no longer videos. Because so you used to do I was it all like, the way going to the bank. I, just, I, the I, I do that in the car. And when my car was done, I had to do it in the bathroom to work against the white wall. And I gone against the white wall so because they can't, tell, they can't tell me that I'm my white wall home. <laughs> Even though I had a white wall home. So I used to go in there and tell. I had to stop one day when I came out. My co-worker was like, but you know we could hear you through the fence. And I was like, ooh. Yeah, my bad. Okay. Did you all like it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's when I was doing it. I had to make it work. Awesome. So, uh, so we're going to take a break, pay some bills. When we come back, we'll follow up to see some more about finding the who Sawyer Boy is. We will be right back. Come on into the Quality Home Center. You will see the savings from when you enter. The one-stop department store with so much niceness. Friendly staff, great atmosphere, low prices. They got brand name appliances, furniture, hardware, electronics, home decor, toys and apparel. Shop and save. There's no need to go away. Stay at home and save big. Stop and shop at the Quality Home Center. Home Center, spend less and live better. As regards to our MRI, a doctor's hospital. It's fantastic. It has high definition, high quality, high resonance. Neck and lower back pains can be debilitating. Means they can't allow you to do nothing. When it comes to treating this kind of patients, one size does not fit it all. I assure you that a, a good MRI is important for your health because it helps to make accurate diagnosis. This segment is brought to you by Quality Home Center. Hi, everybody. We're back here on No Filter, and I have my guest, Soya Boy. Am I allowed to say Tomiko? Let everybody know your real government uh, name. Why not? Most people know it. Uh, not really. When I... <laughs> people don't... Most of the time, when I really, really, really want you, and I'm texting you, you, you notice I switch up and I yeah, go, Tomiko. Yeah, that's when I get real. Yeah. I'm serious. Like, I'm past a Soya now. You're ignoring mm -hmm, me. Mm -hmm. He sucks at answering messages, so if you ever want to, like, if you're a fan, Let them know. I'm letting you know. He, he needs a PA. So anybody who wants a volunteer at that time, for God's sake, Ashley, not you, you're my PA. Uh, she's a jumping ship. She's raising her hand. <laughs> okay, so back to our questions. I have a question. I, when it comes to uh, who you you looked up to before you started all this comedy, mm -hmm. in the Bahamas, in the Bahamas. who do you think is was uh, funny, you know, growing up? All right, it's funny growing up to me. Uh, I ain't like, no one probably know. That's it. There wasn't out there. I can say one. Honey Barbara. Honey Barbara, listen to this right now, straight from Long Island. That's where I get the ball. Fuck who you for? Shoo. Like that was, and I came, I came to the conclusion that, like last month, like Honey Barbara was the first person that we knew, like me and my brothers them knew, that used to make us laugh. Because when she come by us, she could be killing ourselves it's laughing, just... like all the time. And, but other than that, like growing up, it was like, Greg Lampkin, that's who I knew, like what, the commercials. Right. You know what I mean? It's, and, like watching the commercials, like, Pinda, what you doing here? Right, right. And, like it was that because I like the whole realness of it and it was it was always different than ours, a commercial commercial. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? It was so it was like commercial. Yeah, I was like so that was who I really looked at to because I know I it's I used to tell my boys like but when you get older, like I want to do real commercials straight. Yes. Like real commercials, like change the commercials, make them more fun. Right. Right. So now I'm to the point where I do have the chances to, yes, to put, my, put my spin on commercials. So you, get, you can see plenty of stuff coming. So when, um, if you could be prime minister for one day, <laughs> what would you change? What would I change? Yes. What the sick? If I could be prime minister for one day, what would I change? I would, I would really start um, putting more... Uh, in the, like, like people who drive cars bad, like really have police on the road just watching them. Like everybody who's do garbage on the road. Yeah, obviously he did not watch my show last week. 
No, I, I what it was. Tell. Because I had a whole rant on people who don't know how to drive. Oh, yeah, they ain't driving good. And yeah, they don't drive no insurance. Oh, so yeah, they mash yeah, into yeah. you. Well, I one so now watch my show. I like one of them. You one of them too? I was. Oh, I, I, I used to, I got, I, got, I got insurance for like three years at one point. I used to drive very cautious, though, like very cautious. And, but no, but like some things has happened on the road. Like you ever was driving and you see a car, like the car had a certain type of marsh on it. And you looking at it funny, like, but how, no, how, about, did, how did you get that? How like, did how, that possibly happen? yeah, how did that possibly happen? And then they did something in front of you, like, oh, oh, exactly, oh. exactly. And that's, you dodge them. that's how you get that. Did I slow down and say, no, you go ahead. Yeah, you go, because I don't know how you mash that part of your car, like your hood. Why your hood mash? Like, how, <laughs> how you do that? Yeah, like, how you do that? Someone so, jump on top of you. Yeah, so, <laughs> but there's some things to be happening on So, that you record the drop. Yeah, but let's just deal with that, because that's where I I just get. That's where my rage is. Like, my rage is on the road. Okay, as a comedian, do you feel torn in wanting what's better for the Bahamas? Or um, are you simply satisfied that what all goes wrong so you have something to joke about? No. Uh, like, like, for instance, BC always turn it off, and you know you like to make a video that... Oh, again? Yeah, yeah. It's be at times like right now. I, I to the point like, but ain't nothing really been happening over here. Like we, I need something to happen so I can do a video. But it, like, <laughs> it's, it's getting kind of like, yeah, to okay, get, y'all. Okay, yeah, y'all fixing it. But I can need someone to mess it up one day, <laughs> so I could just get myself back and hurry jump on it real quick and just watch my video go viral again. Ah. Oh. You see? Like, yes. It's people like him. They yes. call. They call BC. And they tell them yeah. to turn it off. Get yeah. quiet all this. Yes. <laughs> Do something, man. Let me get on this. But yeah, I yeah, fix what you gotta fix. But I like to talk for things for people can know about. Yeah, I, I, you know I, what I, I mean? agree. I'm sorry, want me to get on that. Why is that hot? Now, when it comes to a personal question, would you rather? Is it better to have a girlfriend who laughs at all your jokes, or a girlfriend who laughs at who doesn't laugh at any? Like, he, like you have those who laughs at all, even if you're serious, and then you have those who just laughs at anything you say. All right, you you want me to pick between one who laughing at everything or one who don't laugh at all? Right. Nah, but you gotta laugh at something. Like if you ain't laughing at none, I can't. I can't talk to no one. Like I I feel I have a thing now. If you don't have a sense of humor, like you ain't even attractive to me. I don't care how pretty you is. If I start to talk to you and you just like always serious, I ain't into that. Give me the little crazy one who just laughing at everything then. You switch into she's giddy. Yeah, huh? Then she's giddy. The one who laughing at everything? Yeah. But I, I prefer her than the one who ain't gonna laugh because I can be mad. Like, I know that's funny, but like, you ain't. Then if I, you ain't laughing at this and I see you laugh at anybody else's joke, I leave in you. Whoa. I leave in I don't care if you're pregnant. That's your best. You should have laughed at my joke. <laughs> That'd be your daddy. Pick them. That's your daddy there. Yeah. Amen. Change this again. <laughs> laugh at my joke. This again. <laughs> laugh at my joke. That's funny. Okay, so um, I have a very, very, very serious question because there's a rumor going around. Mm hmm. And I need to know it's true. And I think the Bahamas wants to know. Is it true you don't like guava duck? I don't like guava duck? Yes. I love guava duck. Bro. Okay. But you know that, that rumor went around. No. Nope. Yes. I never heard it before in my uh, life. Uh, yeah. And so everybody was like. Was Why? It? Why would they say that? I don't know. Like, I love guava duck. But I, been, I, been, I used to live hawking still back in the day. And the guava duck place was down the hill. Mm -hmm. And my daddy used to do the electrical work there. But every time he go there, they just pay him with guava duck. <laughs> <laughs> my mommy always be mad like you need to mock you and start letting people pay you. <laughs> but that's my boy, he ain't at it. But I get this go over that Maki Y'all come for this go over that. Come for the go over that. She just called us we need to go over that. Yeah, uh, so okay. go over so like is my thing. Yeah. Good. And I noticed too, I wanna end with I, I love how you have your kids mm -hmm. in some of the videos. How do they feel about that? Uh well they to the point now, but growing up it was always once I try to get them on like earlier, my daughter used to be in there. Yeah. Like she used to be in there. She now nah, she's fourteen. She's a woman about to get a job. That's how she's carrying on. Like she's paid bill and thing around you. And so it, I have to catch her in a good mood for her to be in it. I hair gotta be fixed right. Then I could take four hours for her to fix her hair right. And my son, he just ain't on that run. Like, but he behind the scenes. He behind the scenes. He ain't have no choice. He work for me. Like my 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 my, my kids are on my team. Right, we got bills to pay. They each one of them get a job. My son is a videographer. My daughter's a behind the scenes photographer. So anything would happen in behind the scenes. She had the photo she had the camera. She taking pictures as we go. Good. And do so, I say, Daddy, you know what you need to talk about? No. Mother. And I used to be like, I need you all to tell me some Cause of these no. things. I say, you like slow. I don't know what's going on. Tell me what's going on. <laughs> but I but when you mix in the whole 
Dottie with the whole Sawyer boy, it don't go together. So they they don't really see Sawyer, they see Dottie. Yes, and, and Dottie us, and Dottie us, and Dottie. Yeah, I, 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 when we work in, I ain't Dottie though. Right. And they have a problem with that because it puts you in your place. No, it, and it's difficult. Yeah, like, but be serious. Like, boy, this means, I mean, I know I don't jokes, but they're serious. Yes, right, so right, right. Make sure, right? Make sure my hair ain't cutting off. My son, he know, but like, if I, are you ever watch this, my, my forehead cut off? Like, he know I'm mad, boy. So now nah, he did. I can't find him because he lived with me and I need him. It's, <laughs> <laughs> and it's just us. So it's kind of like. I used to do everything by myself hmm, mostly. Maybe, so. maybe you need them more than they need you. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Good. I used to pay them. I, yeah. Well, I mean, you pay it to a B, C, and stuff. No but, my, no, but my son is part of the team now. Good, good. He is part of the Sawyer Boy team. All right. So So is there anything else you need the world to know about you? Um, I love Guava Dub. I don't know where that comes from. <laughs> <laughs> love so you're Guava Duff. I love Guava Duff. You're now hosting all kind of different things. Yeah, yeah. If they need to get in touch with you, they could go on um, any I social media. Or just just go on sawyerboy.com. Yes. The website is sawyerboy.com. Once you go on that, they'll send you to all my links. And Every he's pretty page. Good with the yeah, whatever. With the the uh, inbox on Facebook because you can tell when he read it. And yeah, yeah, say, yeah. Answer me. Answer me. Answer but it gotta be my. Don't go on my poison. Use some of my personal pages and get mod. Cause I take long. I don't be on my personal Facebook. That's to me. That's I a, know you personally. That's a, that's I'm sorry. That's a Miko Sawyer. Oh. Like I don't. I don't be on I that. I don't. I don't post on that. Oh, it's because he and the Facebook. Hate on that. Facebook is. Works? Facebook is making you sad, man. When you go to like when you go into your Facebook, like oh that's what happening. That's all these people got to talk about. Where the positivity? Where the like people always like people using Facebook just to complain now. Yes, I ain't complain. the hand you complain, complain, complain. That's a, that has come on to me now. I getting older now. Yeah. I oh, getting older. I ain't to the point where I don't care. Like, oh girl. I like, oh yeah, I understand. But she's he just could do that to her. Oh, she look like a nice girl. Her boyfriend just cheating on her. And I feel some type of way. But I wanna see that. Yeah, I wanna see that. So I don't be on that side. All I right. just go to post them. So if you now. want to get him, go to Soya. TV.com. Oh, Sawyer him. Boy. Sawyer com. Boy. Don't worry about the TV. I Sawyer. say Sawyer Boy. But I everything else is Sawyer Boy TV. Right. All the other Sawyer Boy TV. Smart. So thanks for coming so much. I really appreciate it. Thank and you. And I love uh, when we bump. We always bump out in public yeah, different yeah, places. Yeah, yeah. And you, you act like you know me because I know all the fans just be like, Sawyer, can I get a picture? Yeah, get a picture. I'm to that stage now. They want a picture with me. Yeah, See how that works? So, so we put them in work. We're, we're moving up. What do so, they say? The lights. Yeah, we're moving up. If we get, if Bahamans on your run and they want to take a picture, but you must be doing something. Yes. You yes. must be doing something. So everybody, so. this is once again, saw your boy. Uh, thanks for coming. Love Thank you. you. And Appreciate keep it. Good and, and keep it going. I and I watch your show. I don't know how good I could be, but you I can keep it going. I watch mine now. I'm trying to get, I don't know. I watch it, mom. My dad <laughs> watch it now. I'm going to see how I look. Like, <laughs> yeah, <I'm gonna laughs> now he has a check for his shoes. <laughs> I know he didn't go to the barber. Have a good day, everybody. No Filter is brought to you by Oasis Shopping Bahamas. Bank of the Bahamas. Quality Home Center. Dairy Queen, Florida Natural, Boss, BAF Financial and Insurance, Checkers Cafe, Doctors Hospital, Marathon Vet Clinic, Mesa Grill, Live to Fish, Lowe's Pharmacy, Riley Boys Auto and Car Rental, Ultra Games, and The Pediatric Place. One good thing, or you can have everything, including dragons. Free HBO Go and 90 plus channels. $99 a month gets you phone, internet, and cable. Ask for Trio. Call 601 2200 or email residential sales at cablebahamas.com. Rev, you and us together.
Plan the best day of your life today. Check us out at www.live2.fish or on Facebook, Instagram, and TripAdvisor. Email us at info at live2.fish. This segment is brought to you by Dairy Queen. Fan food, not fast food. Welcome back, everybody, to the No Filter Show with me, Gina Knowles. And right now, it's time for our head, the best of head Knowles segment. And we have here today with us one of our jury admins. I call them the jury. It's 12 of us. Her name is Ashley Saunders. Hi, Ashley. Hi. How are you? I'm great. I just like to put a little um, liner down there to let you know this is not how Ashley usually is dressed. Ashley also is my PA, does everything for me, and my makeup artist, and she was dressed, and we had a little problem where I spilled the makeup all over her, and so we had to do backup plan, and this is just me because I'm a spiller, but at least it didn't lie to me. Yes, the life of working with Gina. Yes, you know, that's Gina. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> Ashley, let's talk about head nose. First of all, wait, let me know who is Ashley. Well, uh, I was... From Long Island, I'm like the true Long Islander. You're from Long Island, born in Long Island. Actually, I was born in Nassau, so that doesn't make me like a Nassau being Long Islander. You was, you, oh, but you born in Long Island, and then went back as a baby. Ah. I went to school, graduated. So you're actually the true Long the Islander admin. I guess all I say Long Islanders because yeah. that's what they think. So you're the <laughs> no, Long Islander. I'm the true Long Islander. Okay. I am. And how old are you? I am 27 years young. Um. I know, I'm like the baby of, head, well, I am one of the babies of Head Knowles, you know, me and Michelle. Yeah, we're glad that we have these some of these babies because sometimes I have to inbox and go, what are they talking about? Because I'm really confused and they start bringing up this lingo <laughs> and this extra tech stuff and I'm like lost, so I need them. Many of the time. And you married? Three years now. I'm two beautiful girls. Two little girls. Yes. They're so cute. You should see them. So, Ashley, how did you become an admin of HK? Ah, well, to be honest, it was forced upon me, so I had no choice. Uh, many times, Gina's going through uh, HK, and she was like, you know what? I can't deal with this no more, so Ashley, you take over. And that's how I became an admin. Yes. <laughs> and what do you think is the best part of being an admin? The best part is the purging. Uh, when we're <laughs> deleting... <laughs> The people off of HK that do not follow the rules. Not adding, deleting. Deleting. I think that's the best part for everybody. It is. Who do you think is the meanest admin? Whew, tough question. The meanest, the, the most mean... lethal, the one who does not tolerate anything is just like, off with your head. That's our little saying. The meanest, I would say, is between either Erica Lang or Petrina. We so. say, we have to say Erica Lang Watkins because we have two Ericas and yeah. we have two Genas. So, so. And you say that because they, they have no tolerance. Yeah. Uh, Petrina, she, she's like a no-nonsense gal. Like she will quickly delete without hesitation. But Erica Lang, she kind of voices her opinions first and say, why are you deleting? And then she deletes you. She yeah. chops off your head. And then you're gone. And then and you're gone. It's really funny. And just to let you know, how many members do we have now? We have 23,000 and just notice that it's never gone up. It's always going down because we're just deleting persons. Yeah, so it's when you see that number go up, we're in a really, really good mood. And suddenly we start um, being nice and out of yes. people, right? And what do you think is the most popular question asked? Who? It's either which bank is open on Saturdays or where do I find the moistest cake? And it's never them asking for themselves. They're always asking oh, yeah. for a friend. <laughs> so, yes, asking, asking for a friend. For a friend. It's, that's so, so crazy because yeah. you're asking for you, you know. But <laughs> yeah, that is, is, that is true. That is they true. always want, <laughs> like, because handles, I could say, is definitely the Angie's List of the Bahamas, where the go-to, nobody uses Google. No. Nobody asks Siri. And they all ask, even, you know what, I even feel bad because you know what I do. Sometimes I feel bad to go on to the head knowledge page and I just go in the admins group because <laughs> we have a WhatsApp group. And I'll go, before I go on head knowledge, does anybody know this answer? We do that a lot. Yeah, we do that a lot. And we have our little WhatsApp group, which is really funny because you cannot find, you can't catch everything. No. 
And then we have a report button, and everybody doesn't use it, but sometimes they do. So sometimes we see a really funny posts, and we try to figure out if we're going <laughs> to let it stay, if we're going to let hence why yeah. we have the jury. Yeah. So then we'll all vote, and we'll say, do we let it stay? Do we let it go? Because some people ask some crazy questions. They do. What do you, uh, uh, this is a real on the spot. What do you think is, like, the wildest question or subject that ever came up? Oh, man, it's it's so many. Like, it's so hard to choose just one. Um, oh, God, I am so sorry. I can't think of one right now. Like, it, it's, it's just a lot. What about when we argued about the garbage collection? That was a big thing, too. That was. The new garbage collection. Oh, I'm gonna, when, I, when I start my event, I'm going to start about that. <laughs> but that was a big thing. And then did you say with the other week when they, they actually yelled at me about the passion fruit? Yes. Because I didn't know that we had passion fruit that grew. Okay, so I'm away, right? And I, I purchased this little Bahamas body bath and body works thing. And I said, it's a Bahamas product. And it says, made with passion fruit. And I, said, and I said, I went on head knolls. I said, do we get royalties for this? And I said, we don't even grow passion fruit. <gasps> we don't. We I don't. didn't know. But we that's why I, it's a lot of things I don't know. I'm not going to lie. And... I got slammed. They slammed me on my own bitch. They what do did. you mean there's no passion fruit? They I did. have it growing right on my vine. And, yeah. blah, 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 blah. and I was like, mm, my shame. But yeah. the bottom line, I, like I had to tell them, it wasn't about the passion fruit. No. It was about that there's a big Bahamas sold in Bath and Body Works. And what are we getting? What, what, what is the Bahamas getting? That's true. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is another admin of the Lucky 12. I don't know you're lucky. A little. A little. Sometimes. We have a lot Sometimes of fun, it. though. It's a lot of fun. It is. And it's a big... <laughs> oh, we're all many colors from many places and many ages, so it's it's fun when we start a little... We have a lot of fun. At 3 o'clock in the morning, we're up talking. So, Ashley, thank you for coming. My pleasure. Sincerely. Well, I don't know what I'm talking about. Ashley doesn't make makeup. Yeah. <laughs> so she's I'm always here. Anyway. <laughs> I'm always here. Yeah. In the background. So, thanks for stepping from your little section. Onto You're my welcome. Quality Home Center couch. Anything for you, Gina. Thank you, honey. My Love pleasure. Love you. Mwah. Hey DQ fans, everyone knows DQ has the best sweet treats, but we also have delicious and affordable food options too. Presenting the DQ $7 Fan Meal. For just $7, choose from one of three delicious oven pot sandwiches, chicken bacon ranch, grilled chicken, or turkey BLT. Plus enjoy a DQ Sunday, a soda and a chip, all for just $7. This is one ridiculous deal you don't want to miss. DQ, it's fan food, not fast food. Welcome back, everybody, to No Filter. And, you know, I, w I was just saying off air, I just came back from away because, you know, I travel a lot. As much as I possibly can, I'm on the plane. I love traveling. My goal is to see the world before I die. Is that possible? I don't know. So let me let you know something that I felt as if was it sets me crazy. I know it sets some of you crazy, but yet some of you don't know any better because you're naive to the fact when it comes to traveling. You, I go, it's like, this was like the trip from hell, okay? So I go to the security line, and for some reason, you have a woman who decides that she's going to wear 4,000 fake bracelets, right? And every one of the bracelets beeps. And then you have the stiletto shoes that are wrapped up here, tied, strapped, Velcroed. I don't even know, but I'm watching her take all of these off. In the meantime... You know, at our airport sometimes, there's only one security line open. Yeah. So we're all sitting here, and I'm cringing, and I feel like I'm going to lose my mind. So when you're uh, traveling, you know, it's okay to wear flip-flops and then put on your sexy shoes when you get to your destination. That's okay. We have no problem with that. When it comes to your carry-on, you have your laptop, your little um, iPod. All of that has to come out into a separate bin. You are only allowed to carry three ounces. You have to put it in a Ziploc bag, which is usually separate. When you go to Europe, they are very strict. They want that stuff in a separate Ziploc bag every single time. I'm telling you. And, oh, they will take it and put it in the garbage. They don't care how much it costs. They don't give us a $30 acne thing. They don't care. In the garbage. Um, so that is when you're packing. So all of that taken into consideration. You have to take off your jacket, blah, blah, blah. Then you go through security. You have to sign on the line. And, they have, you know, customs or immigration or whatever you call that, right? Now, when you're then going onto the plane, usually they do the, I don't know, this is this new thing with class or group one or class two or whatever. So they call you in groups. 
I don't know why they just don't do it like they did it before where they're loading the back of the plane. However, let's say that you are sitting in row 21. When you walk onto the plane, you usually walk through the front of the plane. Do not put your bag in uh, over number four. You're not sitting in row four. How your bag get up in row four? So then when I go to row four, guess what? There's no space. But yet, no one's sitting in row four. So my space is now gone. Hmm, what do I do? I take it down and I put it in a hole. Because I need my bag to go somewhere. And then you have these women, which kill me. They have these crocus sack purse, right? And it's like this. And then they have their rolling bag. So their rolling bag is up. Their purse is up. Their, their jacket is up. Oh, they don't care about anybody else. If there's three in a row, they don't care. They own that whole apartment. So we need to have common courtesy. So this, I'm telling you about my trip from hell, this all happened for real. Then the little kid in the front of me where I go now to eat, right? And I fold down my chair. The kid is, and I have kids. And I know that you can't control all kids, okay? Some of them just bad. But, you know, we beat. And, you know, some of them don't beat. So the little kid is up, standing up and rah, shaking the whole thing. And I'm shaking. And I'm like, you can't watch the TV. You can't eat. Your drink's spilling. And I was just like, I'm going to jump out of the plane window. So, yes. So, finally, that calms down. After that, it's time to get off of the plane. Now, the trick is the plane has one exit, usually, okay? Unless you're on a really, really big plane and they're feeling funky and then they open all two of the doors. But 90% of the time, you're leaving out of one door. Everybody has to leave out of that same door. So, the plane ain't land good. And you hear the seatbelts unbuckling because they're getting ready to run for the door. Where are you going if you are in row 28? How do you expect to leave first? Honestly, that's why you book online. If you want to sit up front to get off up front, you want to get up first, you should book your seat up front. If it's not available, then you have to wait. So, we really got to get this traveling thing together. If you need any points, please inbox me. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to write a book. It's going to be called Traveling Videots, I swear. They have idiots for everything else, and I think that we need it. I know maybe that, that may not sell if I say traveling. So, yeah, if you have any ideas for a cool name for a book about traveling for idiots, maybe we make traveling for morons, I don't know, something like that. And Oh, and next thing is, you know when you're walking and you have your bag, and for some reason you then want to leave the plane first, so then you decide to walk like a turtle. What about the people who actually do have somewhere to go? So... This all happened to me for real, and I can't take it. And I keep saying that I need to write my book because we need, and I'm going to put it like each rule is going to be on each page in a font of like 45. So in case you're blind, that's my blind. Anyway, I'll see you next week. Love you all. Hope you're fun. Bye. Promotional consideration provided by Oasis Shopping and Quality Home Center, 